I was tipped off by Rooster Teeth's senior manager, Sophie, that something special had happened. I was in the car on my way to see what she was talking about in person. Unfortunately, traffic was horrible, as usual, and I was experiencing some of the worst road rage I've had in a while. I let my anger get the best of me. That was my fault, and mine alone. But it didn't stop there. I reached a breaking point. This is unbelievable. I'm sorry you had to see me at my worst, but if you can't handle me at my worst, then you've realized I'm attempting to force blame onto you for not wanting to put up with my horrible behavior by saying you don't deserve me when I'm nice. I made it to the secret location, aka a magazine shop. If you're confused why I went to a store that sells magazines, that's your fault and you should apologize. Alright, thank you for the apology. We'll move on now. In the magazine shop, there was one product in particular I was interested in, Variety. And in that magazine, I was particularly interested in one page, 40. Because on page 40, our little company that started from one of the saddest points in my life had a little spot off to the right. My emotions were running wild. Huh. Dope. Uh, we don't do Lifestyle Classic anymore. Still cool. Still cool. I was beside myself with delight. I could feel a swift dopamine kick to my brain, and I purchased all the variety magazines the shop had. I'll leave two to be nice. Unfortunately, I underestimated how expensive the magazines were. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna return about eight of the... There you go. I was too embarrassed to return half the magazines, so I took off in a rush to call my friends. Yo. Hey, you guys want to meet me at a uh, at our spot real quick if you have time? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll, I'll be there in like 40, but yeah. Yeah, you know, the the spot. Yeah, the spot, dude. I know our spot. Okay, cool. What? Are you know? Yeah, no, just right. the spot. Cool, I'll see you there. All right. All right. That was James. That was James, one of my closest friends. And now to call Kib, another friend, who I wanted to meet up and surprise with the good news. Kib's wreckage, how can I help you? What? I called James, asked him to meet me at uh, the spot. I don't know if he really, if he got it. I'm just trying to hit, you know, two out of two, just sure. to make sure. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, you done it? Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're sure we're, we're sure we're on the same page. Everybody's on the same page. We've all been talking about the same page that we're on. Do I hear like a down? A dog? Shiza. Do you say Shiza? Like German? Sorry, no. It's in my. I've got aggressive sperm. They're biting my nuts. Okay, I'll see you there. Okay, later, Dick. We met at Boys Hill, not to be confused with Boys Park. Boys Hill is for surprises. Boys Park is just for boy fun. And Boys Bath, well, that's for supreme relief. <gasps> Guys. Not time. Why are you jogging so close? How you been? Good, dude. Thank you for meeting me here. I'm surprised we both got the place right. If you'll do me a favor. Turn to page 40. What? What? What the fuck? Are you dude? kidding? Sugar Pine 7, the humor video collective born of members of Philip, they spelled Philip wrong, Philip DeFranco's now defunct, that's a mean thing to say, defunct. YouTube channel and news site SourceFed has amassed a devoted young fan base for surreal improv series Alternative Lifestyle, which won a best show, Streamy Award, creating a mini empire of off-kilter content. Mini empire. mini empire? What the fuck does that even mean? It's exactly what it sounds like. Says something about Trump right next what to it. What magazine is it? Variety. Do you know what Variety is? No, but it, I've, it sounds like it's good. You won't even be able to see the buildings in here. Dope. Probably actually one of those buildings right over there. Is it Rolling Stone magazine or? Very close, it's up there, yeah, not, for sure. Like a, it, what are the top five? Rolling yeah. Stone probably, you got Time. You got natu York. National Geographic. Vanity Fair. Vanity, Vanity Fair, Fair, yeah, that's a and big one. And then Variety? Probably Variety. Variety, yeah. Vogue. That's so Vogue. sick. A lot of bees. How? I have no idea. I, I don't even want to ask. Know. I don't even want to ask. I don't even want to look into it. The fact that it's in here, it's a fact. Um, so that's forever, dude. I hope you bought a lot of these. Did you buy, uh, did you buy a bunch of these? Can I get six? Can okay, I Okay, so six times nine, that's gonna, you're going to be about 50, $54. Yeah, I did that How many did you How many did you want? Four. Four? So it four times be, nine is about, about 36. dollars You start off with using 36. six. Kip was doing the math wrong. I needed him to figure out the simple equation on his own. Otherwise, he'd never get his GED. Nine times eight. Nine times eight is... If you give me $150, I'll throw this as far as I can. No, because then I'll choke you till you die. So one of the... That's where the... One of the two. Deal. Sammy Joe's gonna fuck you. You had the calculator You're open, You're stepping dude. on my toes. Yeah, well, you guys freaked the fuck out. What's nine times eight is the question you said? 
Yeah, it's 72. Well, I just heard you say... <laughs> it's strange seeing things like this happen, in a good way. But some part of me questioned whether or not the little article was deserved, though. Maybe in 2017 it would have made sense, but now... Now I don't know. I don't want to live in the past, but I'm worried I'll find out the past was the part of my life that mattered the most. A lot's changed since then, and I don't really even talk to you anymore. I left home about a week ago. I never really had a brain of my own. I guess I just haven't had anything to say. Everything's been good. It's been steady. The world was so damn small. Every once in a while, there's too much traffic on the 405, so I take a different route, and I get to look at the ocean. One of the many perks of the job, I guess. I just realized I call it a job. I am a content creator at Rooster Teeth. That's my official title. I have an official title. And every day of the week, I come in from 9 to 5. When I used to go home, I never really left the office. All of this was in the back of my head, even if I didn't want it. I usually did, though. But now when I go home from my job, from the schedules, the analytics, I don't think about it. There's finally an escape. And for the first time in a long time, I'm truly happy. And I wish I wasn't. I love Christmas. Christmas is rad. Let's see, I tell you a little secret. Come here. Come here. Come here. All go ahead. Get close. Come on. Ask your dad if you can come here. You remind me of Ben Stiller's 